Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know I said in my last video that I won't post until 2020, but I wanted to discuss this before January 1st in hopes of spreading as much awareness as possible. If you're new to K-pop or you simply don't know, Dispatch is a huge South Korean tabloid magazine. Dispatch has close ties with pretty much every entertainment company in the industry, but especially with the big three, YG, SM, and JYP. Every year on January 1st, Dispatch exposes two idols for dating. They get so-called anonymous tips about different idols dating. They follow said idols for months without their consent, before presenting their evidence to the idols' companies. If the companies agree to pay Dispatch a certain amount of money, Dispatch won't expose their idols. When the remaining companies refuse to pay up, Dispatch chooses a couple to expose, usually the couple with the most popular idols. If you're unfamiliar with this concept, it's extortion and it's illegal. This ritual started in 2008 and Dispatch has since then exposed 21 couples. Most recently, they exposed Kai from EXO and Jenny from BLACKPINK to be dating, as well as Twice's Jihyo and Daniel Kang. For a lot of people, this is something no one can control. It's just a tabloid magazine digging for dirt and exposing couples, and in Western media it wouldn't be that big of a deal. However, it all changes when we take into account Korean society. Dating is conceived differently in South Korea than it is in the West. The rules aren't the same because celebrities are marketed differently. While celebrities in the West are generally marketed as role models and hashtag relatable people, in K-pop, the romantic availability of idols is their prime marketing tool. If fans can find their romantic ideal in an idol, the chance of them standing, streaming, buying merchandise, etc. is a lot higher. As such, when an idol is exposed to be dating, they are no longer available to fans who have built their entire love for this idol on their ability to possibly date them and imagine themselves dating them. Moreover, this enables a lot of double standards in the community. It's no secret sexism and misogyny are very present in the K-pop industry, where female idols are criticized and demonized more often and more intensely than male idols. More often than not, the women exposed to being an idol couple get the bigger portion of the hate. Fans call them sluts, attention whores, they see these girls trapped or ruin their opar's career. Everything about them that was criticized before gets dragged a hundred times more because they stole their opas from their fans. Not to mention the nearly psychotic hate female idols receive from much older male fans when they are no longer available to be their fantasy. Let's take for example EXO's Baekhyun and SNSD's Taeyeon. Dispatch exposed them in 2013 in June. Taeyeon was already receiving hate since 2010 for supposedly being overweight, which is just like bananas but whatever. After Dispatch exposed her for dating one of the most beloved members of South Korea's then-favorite boy group, the hate exploded immensely. The number of crazy stalkers and death threats grew exponentially. Every day, XOL has made hundreds of hateful comments, mostly on her Instagram, disrespecting Taeyeon and insulting her shamelessly, until she had to post a public apology, saying she's sorry for dating. She even apologized to a fan who ambushed her at an airport and started crying. While Baekhyun obviously got some hateful comments, and even a fan who crashed his brother's wedding with threats to hurt him and Taeyeon, they weren't nearly as disgusting and demanding as the ones Taeyeon got. He didn't even comment on the situation until two months later. This is just one example of how Dispatch intensifies the already present misogyny K-pop by exposing idol couples. This is the effect of Dispatch monetizing off of idols' private lives. Not only do they ruin their careers, Dispatch enables crazy stalkers and crazy fans to hurt the idols personally. As almost every couple exposed by Dispatch, Taeyeon and Baekhyun broke up a few months later, but Taeyeon still receives hate for her relationship to this day, almost 7 years later. It would take a longer video to list all the exposed couples who broke up months after, but the most recent is Jenny and Kai. If you overlook the theories of Jen Kai being fake and a marketing hoax by YG and SM, they broke up like what a month and a half after Dispatch exposed them? And what happened to Kai, I wonder? Hmm, oh right, nothing. Just like nothing happened to him when Dispatch exposed him for dating Crystal. The bandwagon hate for Jenny only intensified though, and it still continues to this day. Dispatch just added fuel to the fire. While Dispatch is of course to blame, we have to consider fans' reactions to this. This year, most fans find Dispatch's actions disgusting, and they're very vocal about it online. However, a big number of fans take joy in this and enable Dispatch. Even if they're not as obvious as tweeting, Hey y'all, which couple do you want Dispatch to expose? LOL haha clown emoji. Any tweets about Dispatch that aren't 100% negative give Dispatch clout. They want you all to tweet funny things about your idols getting exposed. They want that clout. They don't care. 
as long as stands don't take a hard stance against dispatches' invasions of privacy and attempts at ruining idols' careers, which they often succeed in, dispatch and other, other disgusting tabloids like all K-pop, they will only keep growing. Why would they stop when they're living in our heads and tweets rent free?